Hi, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Lupos. I'm teaching your child math this semester, uh, grade 11 university math, MCR3U. And this is just a quick video to go over how they can get a hold of me, how you can get a hold of me, and what's expected from them this semester. So I am teaching periods one and period two. Both periods, I have the same course, the grade 11 university math. Uh, and that's in room 213, and that's the math hall. And that's where I'll be all morning and I'll be there at lunchtime. So if, if students need help at lunchtime, that's where they can find me, either to work on homework or anything, study. Um, and if they can't find me there, I'll be down the hall on 219, which is our, our math office. It's also the French office. And uh, it's just down there and they can find me there. If you want to get a hold of me, you can contact me here at this email, d.lupos at tvdsb.on.ca. That's the best way to get a hold of me. I also provided the phone number for the school. You can call me here, but I'd really prefer if you use the email here. Um, it just keeps track of things. I can, I can uh, uh, see it a lot quicker uh, that you've got a hold of me or trying to get a hold of me. And I'm thinking possibly to put a mass email, a group email. If you want to get part, uh, be part of that, just send me an email and say, yeah, send me info about uh, test dates and that sort of thing. So, uh, just a couple things I want to go over. The school website, you can find the school website here. And then if you want to find anything from my class, you go to teacher websites. I'm about halfway down, right in the middle. Uh, click here, and I haven't set it up yet, but over here I'm going to have the grade 11 uh, university class. Uh, click there, and that'll send you to links that are important for the class, the class um, uh, notes and that sort of thing. The other thing you can do is I plan on having a lot more videos than just this. I've already made a few, and the best way I've... Uh, to find it if anyone wants to just google lupos math in one word no space and if you do that it asks you if you mean lupus math and i don't think you do so you try that right here and here we go and that's us and over here the playlist 11u functions all the class videos will be found right here so i've got a couple up here complex trinomials sim simple trinomials uh, that i've uploaded so far uh this video i'll add also and uh, that's where the videos will be. I'll be doing them on a regular basis, uh, mostly based on the class notes. If you go home and you're confused, a uh, student wants to look at uh, what we went over in class, it's there. If you're sick and you don't make you you're you want to catch up or you want to keep up, it's there. If you want to get ahead, it's also there. Okay, so watch those videos. Um, if any requests on certain things, I can also make requested videos. Other things I just want to go over real quickly, that's that. Uh, there will be, your, your student ha has a outline. This is the unit outline. This is for unit 1A. So each day is outlined here. So for example, day one was today, intro to 3U, and they're supposed to watch the video with parents. That's their homework. There will be a lot of homework. So the difference between this class and um, the grade 11, or sorry, the grade um, uh, 10 class is that there is uh, significantly more homework and the pace is a little uh, quicker, actually a lot quicker. So grade nine and 10 are usually about the same pace. Grade 11 is a little bit quicker or a lot quicker really. And it uh, moves at a regular pace each day. We keep going and going and going. So there's lots of math in grade 11. And the good news is if you can get through grade 11, the grade 12 is really a continuation. Let me just go over real quick. Let me show you, let me find where it is. Here's the pathway chart. So this is a pathway chart. We are right here. So someone, uh, your child took the grade nine course, then they took the grade 10 course, and now we're at grade 11 functions. So this is called functions. You go from here to either advanced functions or data management. And if you want to go to calculus and vectors, you need to take advanced functions before that. Um, if you need to get to data management, and that's where you're going, you can also get there by taking the university college level course. So you do not need this course to get to, to the data management course. Data management is, is a different course. Um, there's not much taught in, in either of the grade 11 courses that gets you ready for the grade 12 data management course. It's its own little thing. Uh, it's, it's a good course, but it's not as though if you take the data, uh, the, sorry, the, the grade 11 uh, university college course that you'll be less prepared than someone who's taking the grade 11 university course. Um, and so that's just out there for you. So if there's any thoughts about switching to the grade 11 university college, um, it will get you to data management. It will not get you to advanced functions and it will not get you to calculus and vectors. So if you're in this course, you pass grade 10 and you are on your way to either data management or advanced functions. This is your third math credit. You need th three math credits to graduate. And what we're outlining in this course, sorry, that's uh, the outline. What we're looking at in the course is all outlined in the handout that your student got today. Uh, 
We talk about functions, normal functions, or, or just general functions, I should say, exponential functions, discrete functions, and the like. So all the topics are here. Most evaluation be in the form of, of tests. There are quizzes, there are a few assignments, but almost everything, uh, the, not almost everything, but the vast majority of your marks will be tests. It'll be broken down in the KitKat categories. 70% of your total grade is uh, term. 30% is what we call final. 10% of that is an open book uh, ISP, and 20% of that is the final exam. So there will be a textbook that will be handed out early next week. There should be 30 minutes to an hour worth of homework from that textbook every day. And that's about it. So just a little outline. Any questions, like I said, give me an email, d.lupos at tvdsb.on.ca. Uh, and that's about it. Take care. Thanks.